Okay, well, Sean got the piece welded up, you assume, with the dark welder. And I uh, took the belt for the pumps off here because it was bad. The oil's been leaking up for so long, so it slips and it's got some cracks in it. So I gotta get a new belt. And now I gotta get a new belt for this because this belt is so stretched out so much that this piece this is rubbing over here. Cause you got this much play in the belt so that's why that this piece here was rubbing on here because his belt was all cottywampus so we put a new belt on here the other time now it looks like it's wearing a little bit but it's the right belt so uh we're gonna try to figure out how to take all this contraption off of here Yeah, looks like I take the spring off, get the belt off. Then I don't know how you get the belt out of here then. Because that's connected to that, that's connected to that. And that is connected to that. Good thing we're doing it up here on the bench instead of on the ground. Well, that wasn't as bad as I thought. Took out a bolt here, took out a bolt here. And then this little sweet thing just, just, whoo, like that. You just take the belt right off of there. Bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, she's she's pretty sharp. She's got a lot of cracks in her. She's wearing. I don't know if there's even a number on it. It doesn't even want to bend. It's just stuck and it's stuck where it always has been. This pulley has a little bit of a ridge into it. That's probably why it's wearing so much. The pulleys all seem to turn real nice. So I have to go to Little Falls, get a belt for this, and then get the other drive belt, the drive, those two belts right there. I think I am going to put some bigger bolts in this thing here. So it doesn't, uh, oh, I got both off, I guess. Okay, because the one kind of, they wore out a little bit and they flopped a little bit. I'll see if I can or not. We'll see what happens. Okay, so let me go get some belts. So I got the new belt on, and you can see it is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot tighter. See the big difference from here to here? So I got the belt on there, that works. Got these brackets on. Not as much wobble as I did before, put bigger bolts in. Got the chains oiled up. Got all the pulleys greased. Greased all this thing. This thing's kind of cool, it rocks back and forth too figure out where the belt is supposed to be just gonna hook these springs up here if i do that once i get the belt on so this thing here is ready to put back underneath the lawnmower now and uh bolt that on so that's come along real nice so i bought about four belts when i was uptown and one of them did work for the the new uh pump belt so that's good got that on there now so that all works good and i just ordered i was able to find the two fans that are supposed to be on there ordered them from dixie chopper plus a seat safety switch i was going to try to hot wire that one but it's got like four or five wires going in so it was only like three four dollars for the safety switch so i just bought it and the fans are only three four dollars a piece too and I had to order at least $25, so I bought two sets of fans. So maybe I can, I couldn't find any fans on eBay, so maybe I can sell them two fans on eBay to repurpose my money for buying the fans. You know what I mean? Maybe we can make money back. <sighs> Otherwise, the tires down in New Orleans getting fixed. The deck is all back together and ready to go. We just gotta put it on back in business pretty soon possibly gonna take the carburetor off and soak it because i think there might be a little issue in there that might be the next project i don't know if i'm gonna take that off right now and then put it in the donkey thing and let it soak or not we'll see what time it is i gotta get my ebay shipping done too before work 